Well, in South Africa, a special school for pregnant teens is trying to help end the cycle of poverty associated with early birth. South, Ameri South African researchers say around 30% of girls in the country get pregnant by age 19, and only one-third of them stay in school while they are pregnant or after their uh, babies are born. Now, Emily Eob reports from Pretoria. These high schoolers chatting and laughing during recess look like every girl their age. But there is one major difference. Most of them will become mothers by the end of this year. The Pretoria Hospital School is the only education facility in South Africa which has a section dedicated to allowing pregnant students to carry on their education. The school currently has 100 girls between the ages of 13 and 19. Most of them were forced to leave their previous schools because of social stigma. I thought they would judge me and that's why I left. When I was at grade 9, there was a girl in grade 10 who got pregnant. When we walk through the halls, the girls would go like, look, she was, she was pregnant, she's pregnant. So that's, that's why I also didn't want to stay because I know what the people think and they judge easily. Sometimes schools themselves decide to expel pregnant girls despite the fact that it is against South African law. Outcast, many pregnant teenagers never finish their secondary education. Pregnancy is the cause of more than 30% of high school dropouts. Dorothy came close. After being expelled from school and forced to stay home for months trying to find a school that would accept her, she arrived here earlier this year. She says she enjoys a prejudice-free environment. I began to feel welcome and not discriminated against and it was, it was lovely because we could all share about the same thing, no one was going to judge you, they are all mothers, we share the same pain, the same joys and yes, teachers don't constantly tell us about what a bad deed we do, we did and they support. Rina Van Niekerk, the school's principal, says the major challenge is to bring every student up to the appropriate education level and keep them on track. There's no cut-off date for them to enroll at our school. So you will find that learners land up with you in the third term of the year, but they're behind the work schedule that we are following. So you need to get those girls on par with the rest of the girls. Another challenge that we have is high absenteeism rates amongst the girls. They suffer from pregnancy-related illnesses. This teaching section for pregnant teenage students opened in the mid-80s and remains the only such school in South Africa. Emily Yob for VOA News from Pretoria.